wouldn't it be awesome if you had the ability to customize your Go High Level dashboard? In th this new feature, I'm going to show you how you can do that for your Go High Level account. Let's go take a look at my screen. All right, so we're looking at one of my sub accounts, which is my marketing agency. And as you can see here, this is a typical standard dashboard uh, that comes standard with Go High Level. Now, um, as you can see, each of these blocks are called widgets. And so um, there are some columns or some widgets here that are not being utilized. And so this is probably an instance where you will want to create a custom widget for one of your customer. Um, and just understand that the ability to customize uh, your dashboard uh, and, and these widgets only is available for the highest SaaS plan, which is the 497. And so let's go ahead and create a, uh, a new dashboard. And you can, let's call it a new uh, sales dashboard. And you, you can make it available privately or to make it available to everybody. And so it, when you do everybody, you have the ability to also set it where they can only they could view it and edit it, or they can all uh, just view it only. And so, for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to make it just private so that I can only see it myself. Okay. So let's just go ahead and confirm. And as you can see here, these are the suggested widgets that uh, is available. All right. So we're going to go ahead and add a widget. And when you do there are different types of chart types of widgets that are available. Uh, numeric, which basically shows numbers. Donut, which basically shows in like a pie type of uh, diagram. Uh, line type, which is shows visually by lines. Uh, and then there are vertical bars and horizontal bars, okay? And then there are four categories of widgets that are currently available. Okay, I'm going to just move my face over here. And right now, as you can see, there are contacts, um, ca the categories of contact. And here we're going to show, I'm going to just go quickly go over them by count, by tags, by activity, by type, assign users, by company name, um, count over time, lo um, logged in users, uh, contacts with emails, without emails, with phone numbers, without phone numbers, and there are total counts till date and this month, okay? And let's just go ahead and just take a look at appointments here. Now, there are a number of appointment counts uh, over a date range. Um, there are confirmed, showed, no-showed, canceled, uh, by status, by group, by um, comparison, by source, uh, over time, canceled, upcoming appointments for next week, um, upcoming appointments according to the logged in users, uh, logged in user, and these are last months, and these are uh, last month by logged in users, okay? And let's go over the opportunities. And so we have opened, one lost, abandoned opportunity count, by count over time. Um, these, this is revenue over time. These are count by status, uh, by the value, opportunity value, uh, lost opportunity value, um, abandon one total one this month. Um, this is one um, this month for you, I guess, uh, for that specific user. And then uh, this one is uh, one value this month, okay? And let's go over the last category, which is general, right? Uh, opportunity status. Um, and this would be show generally, right? Uh, opportunity values, conversion rate, funnels, uh, stage distribution, task, manual actions, the source, uh, Google Analytics count, analytic chart, Google Business Profile, Facebook Ads Report, and Google Ads Report. Now, if you're not using any of these, of course, it's going to show no data, okay? Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, let's just say, put in here 
a uh, an out a uh, number of open opportunities, and let's just go by number and the number count. Now, for each category of widget, there are going to be advanced settings that you can set. Um, now, I'm not going to go into every single one of them to go over. So just understand there are additional settings that you can set. And so let's go ahead and save this. Uh, and this is going to be a numeric chart, now 167. Now, we can also go ahead and edit that. And if you show it in Donut, I'm just going to show it to you by Donut. And as you can see, that shows it by the Donut. Let's go ahead and click on Edit here. And this is going to show by line. And let's just go ahead and click. And so as you can see, this is probably not something that you want to utilize and show via a line uh, diagram or line uh, widget. Let's just go show it by bar. And this is going showing it by bar. Uh, this might actually um, not not appropriate for in this uh, to utilize it in this instance. Uh, so just gonna have to play play around with it and see which one uh, is you know um, depending on which what you want to show on on the dashboard uh, for you know most useful for a client okay and so let's just go horizontally and as you can see like that all right so in this instance numeric is probably the best um, to show by number. Now, as you can see here, you have the ability to resize the um, the widget to make it small, as big as you want. And so, um, as you can see, there's a lot of great, great, there's you know a lot of flexibility that you can utilize this new dashboard. And so, when you want to make the change, you go ahead and click Save Change. So let's go ahead and create a um, a real scenario. Uh, in my case, a scenario where we're doing outbound reach to our warm contact for um, those that are may or may be interested in uh, our SaaS platform, right? And so let's go ahead and delete. Let's go ahead and edit this dashboard. And let's just go ahead and delete contact okay um, this new widget and let's go ahead and set up where um, these are open opportunities right and we're going to create a numeric one and then what we're going to do is we're going to create another widget with that shows um, the number of total opportunities here and that's we're also going to show numbers, right? So then here is um, opportunity counts, and you also have the uh, you can also change um, the name here. So total, say total, total, total opportunities opportunities right and then we can edit this as well and call this open right and let's create one let's put it by opportunities by status so let's go and uh, if we're taking a look at this and we see that total opportunities is 176. And out of those, 167 is open, uh, four abandoned, three won, and two lost here. And then let's put in here some uh, analytics. Um, let's just put in here uh, conversion rate. And so if we look at uh, the conversion rate is 3.17. So all right, so let's see, as you can see, trying to make it a little bit more um, visually appealing. Well, I hope this new feature update is going to help you to customize a dashboard that will be helpful for your organization or for your department or for your whole team. All right, so uh, until next time, I'll see you.